Hi, I'm Marty Demko. Here is a mock conversation between famous atheist Richard Dawkins when two famous theists, the current Pope Benedict and uh, the late Billy Graham. What I've done is I've stitched together some of their more popular quotes um, and uh, occasionally add a connective, um, uh, so it seems more like conversation. Um, so here we go. Pope Benedict begins. Apart from Jesus Christ risen from the dead, there can be no salvation. He alone can free the world from evil. Dawkins says, faith is the great cop-out, the great excuse to evade the need to think and evaluate evidence. Graham says, don't be misled by those who claim God doesn't exist because he does. Dawkins says, we cannot, of course, disprove God, just as we can't disprove Thor, Thor fairies, leprechauns, and the flying spaghetti monster. Graham says, God proved his love on the cross. When Christ hung and bled and died, it was God saying to the world, I love you. Dawkins said, how can you take seriously someone who likes to believe something because he finds it comforting? Pope Benedict says, whenever individuals and nations accept God's presence, worship him in truth and listen to his voice, then the civilization of love is being built. Dawkins says, one of the things that is wrong with religion is that it teaches us to be satisfied with answers which are not really answers at all. Benedict says, to set God aside is to separate ourselves from the source of life and inevitably to deprive ourselves of fulfillment and joy. Graham says, the second coming of Christ will be so revolutionary that it'll change every aspect of life on this planet. Disease will be eliminated, death will be abolished, war will be eradicated, nature will be transformed. Dawkins says, to an honest judge, the alleged marriage between religion and science is a shallow, empty, spin-doctored sham. Benedict says, I certainly hope you can agree that one who has hope lives differently. Dawkins says, true, but don't kid yourself that you're going to live again after you're dead. You're not. Make the most of life, the one life you've got. Benedict says, yes, try each day to follow Christ's word. Listen to him as your true friend with whom you can share your path in life. With him at your side, you will find courage and hope to face difficulties and problems, and even to overcome disappointments and setbacks. Graham adds, Christians should never fail to sense the operation of an angelic glory. It forever eclipses the world of demonic powers as the sun does a candle's light. Dawkins says, really? The universe we observe has precisely the properties we should expect if there is, at bottom, no design, no purpose, no evil, no good, nothing but blind, pitiless indifference. Do not indoctrinate your children. Teach them how to think for themselves, how to evaluate evidence, and how to disagree with you. And Graham says, Both leaders and individuals are asking one basic question. Is there any hope for the future? My answer is the same, yes, through Jesus Christ. The only time my prayers are never answered is on the golf course. In any event, I do thank you for watching. I'm Marty Nemco. I welcome your thumbs up and accept your thumbs down. I always look forward to your comments and especially like it if you hit the share button below. Share on your social media so that my efforts can have broader impact. And I am flattered if you choose to subscribe to my channel. And in any event, I do thank you for watching. I am Marty Nemco.